Hey guys, what's going on? Third Street Reactions here. We're back. I'm Shane. Zach. We're back here at the fifth episode of Peacemaker. Vigilante got himself arrested yeah. to infiltrate the jail to kill the White Dragon because Waller's daughter. Yeah. Got it kind of put the idea in his head. Yeah. That it would be, Peacemaker would be better off if his father died. Yeah. So Vigilante goes in there and actually whoops some ass. And, uh, he's talking about the like, whole. He's talking about the music with mm -hmm. the African American influence. <laughs> his yeah. rednecks go put the fist. Fucking his dad didn't fall for it. No, he's smarter than that. He's you know because he knows he's innocent. He's in there chilling yeah. with his homies yep. until they do the fingerprints. Yeah, pretty much. But he did threaten to knock out Peacemaker. Well, yeah, he got a little. But more I'm no, I'm no rat. Vigil but I'm gonna. Yeah, but vigilante, you know, kind of made the situation worse by doing that because now. Peacemaker's father feels that Peacemaker's trying to have him killed. Yeah. So he's definitely trying to press and get. Yeah. Uh, talk to detective whoever. Yeah. Ha and Hardcore picked him up. And he's like, I think I made things worse. Like you said, he just yeah. started crying and she just had this big look of symp uh, sympathy. Yeah. And the same way she felt for like, Peacemaker when she realized he wasn't just a killer. You yeah. Know, he does feel bad and wants a good reason to kill kids. Yeah, they had that emotional punch of an ending, dude. Yeah, with uh, him and his brother. Yeah. His brother apparently having a seizure after an incident. Yeah. And his dad, that was in that episode where his dad had him kill some guy. Some guy. He just don't know who he was, some unfortunate man. Yeah, probably he, a crook, but he maybe He probably not. did some unfortunate things, but... Yeah, maybe he didn't deserve to get murdered, you know? I don't know. Been he never... what he did, I guess. I mean, either way, he had his kid do it, and, you know... Well, that's fucked up. Yeah. But it was really good, and it does re uh, reveal that he's a fucking butterfly, which pissed Mern, me off. I revealed that Mern was a butterfly. Oh, yeah. God damn it, Zach. But Judo Master said that butterflies are not what they appear to be or what yeah. they're being made out to be. But so. I still want him to be just a guy, you know? Mern? Yeah. yeah. I know. I don't know. I mean, I imagine the show has, hasn't disappointed me in any way, except for that little thing, but I'm sure I'll, I'll fall in line. It'll probably be cool, so... Yeah, it wasn't my greatest disappointment of the show, so... Yeah, uh, so... Uh, anyways, we're gonna jump in! Hangover cure. Red eye, hangover cure. Yeah. <laughs> Was that like honey? Yeah. Yeah, the, the idea that I think could, like, break and crawl up your nose or some shit. I, I mean, if that's... I don't know how they do it, but... It looks like they just take a regular people, right? I don't know. They enter the human body through one of its orifices and borrow through the brain, where they're then in control of the body. They go through the butt? I think that's just some uh, creativity on the part of whomever did the animation. The butt is an orifice. So it's him? <laughs> that means they have to crawl through poop. Just because they're aliens doesn't make them gross. Bigotry. Superman's an alien. He's got a poop fetish. Get what? the fuck out of here. Oh, yeah. He uberly bays the old shizers, I understand it. Where do you get this nonsense? <laughs> Google. Well, it's not true. You know more than Google? Well, congratulations. Unique genetic structure. The fluid seems to be the butterfly's only food source, which makes what Leota discovered last night potentially significant. It's amazing the incredible amount of time you put into this presentation and how incredibly shitty it still is. Okay, peacemaker, <laughs> shut up. I didn't mean to put your father in prison. Then why'd you put him there, you fat fuck? Because I couldn't think of anybody but else. What about Ariana Grande or Drake? What? Brad Pitt or Payne Stewart or Doug the Pug, Khloe Kardashian, the Red Tiger from Voltron, Fran Tarkenton, Joe Montana, Joe Montana, Eddie fuck? Murphy, Michael Jordan, Michael B. Jordan, BTS. <laughs> Optimus Prime, Shipwreck, Cobra Commander, the fucking cunts from Riverdale! <laughs> All right, next time I... So, I don't want to see her overnight if there's no cable. Fargo's on tonight. It was a rhetorical... <laughs> 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 and we have two eyewitnesses who said that you kidnapped them. Well, they're fucking lying. <laughs> Your fingerprints, Blake Shelton, are all over the murder victim's apartment. I'm running out of white guys. Just take my prints. That's all I'm saying. Because I didn't fucking do it. Then who did? My shit had fucking son. He knocked it out. Knocked him out. The end. Caught me Thimble. Thimble? Yeah, I was a late bloomer. I didn't go through puberty until my mid-20s. <laughs> I mean, I didn't. Hey, I got bullied too. Oh. My kid's calling me a bully all the time and telling me I was abusive. <laughs> hey, that hurt my feelings. How do we scan fingerprints? I don't know. Take a picture with your phone. 
Uh, well, it might be blurry because I don't have that new phone with the macro setting. Then borrow someone's phone that has macro. And then have the mayor drop it to me? Uh, yeah, I, I will have the mayor drop it to me. Uh, we could get flagged for that stuff. I do like your people's noodles. You got that. Rice-based. Not heavy on the carbs like the Wops. Well, I'm glad I invented them then. <laughs> <laughs> I have a right back. All right, that's enough. I can't take it. Not a fan of the Swedish metal there, eh? Not so it's just the five of us against an alien invasion? And Mern? Well, it's counting Mern, just not Dybeer back there because he's fucking useless. Dude, what'd I say? <sighs> Sorry, Economos, jeez. That sounded very sincere. Thank you very much. Are those men? I believe their preferred pronoun is long live rock. <laughs> and you are sounding awful awesome phobic. Uh, BT does. Awesome phobic, that's a good one. <laughs> You were some angel. I've changed since then. Well, I said you needed my help. The situation is delicate. It requires something other than your usual sledgehammer. Well, these days, Mern, I'm, I'm barely ball peen. I'll take care of you. Ball peen hammers, man. That would fucking suck, though. Take one of them to the knees. Mm -hmm. Fuck me. Come on. Hey, detective. They made us do it! We were afraid for our lives! Evan, you fucking pussy! <laughs> we think you're being more than the rest of the world combined. Okay. You're right. I just forgot women had fingers for a second, okay? How do you think we grab things? Not in life, in sex. Oh, so you just thought women's fingers just fell off during sex? <laughs> I don't know, I wasn't thinking, okay? Clearly. Hey. Uh, Here's a war. Taking that in there. I can't hear you. This thing's so fucking loud. Hey, how you doing? Blam! How are you? Ah! I didn't think they were going to, because I thought that. You can see in the brains. Oh. There you go. I thought we were going to have a play off the x-ray vision before we started doing it, though. So, good job. She's, she's so formal. Really nice thighs. She's beautiful. Yeah. That shit they eat. There's literally a thousand boxes of it in here. I think literally a thousand? Look at me, 50. Great. Yeah, definitely more than 50. So Jesus. The idea that, like, you'd be held down, like, in the strain or the or faculty, and then boom, one of those things fucking being put inside you. Just, ah! It looks horrendous. Yeah. Now that I know it's not honey, it. Now I'm more disturbed. Oh shit! It's like a fucking strain. Oh, look at that! Oh, that's fucking disturbing. You gotta kill the fucking butterflies, man. Who's Charlie? Oh, God, he an angel. Looks like he's been slacking. <laughs> Slacker. Whoa. There's a fucking <laughs> The gorilla. They probably took over one of the, the gorilla's body. Well, that's a... That'd be a hell of a thing. What the hell is that? It's a grenade I tied to a Russian tank shell. Why not just the grenade? The grenade blows up like two people. How many people? <laughs> I made the noise. Eat peace, motherfuckers! Eat peace! <laughs> Go! <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's cool. Fuck! <laughs> Jesus! Dude, Dad, fuck you up, bro. By killing. Yeah. He couldn't be. 
fit, no matter how big he is. Yeah. Those things are so fucking big. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you did it! <laughs> You're funny being done. Yeah. They're calling him a oh. <laughs> Well, that is disgusting as shit, but good on, good for him. Just like he took down a... Uh, Judah, Judah Master. Master. Yeah. You fucking stud! <laughs> <laughs> I am. I'm, so, I'm a fucking stud! <laughs> That's cool as shit. <laughs> It feels so earned, you know, now, you know, and she's just, smiling she just met there and joined it, yeah. Yeah, not bad. Please don't be a butterfly. God. I feel like if she was, too, it'd be overkill. Maybe next gorilla. <laughs> cool. Motherfucker! You corrupt motherfuckers! I didn't do it, you fucking know it! Fucking bitch! What's going on? He's just got his fingerprint results back from the lab. They matched the prints at the crime scene. You better be fucking kidding me. Captain, what the hell is going on? Huh? Where's Captain Mealy? Well, the mayor wasn't pleased with the performance around the Sturphausen murder, so I'm replacing her. He's from uh, Hell on Wheels. August Smith is being framed. I know he's a bad guy, but that. Detective Song. You strike me as one of those uptight gals that pushes herself too hard to prove the men don't have one up on her. What? We get it. You're good. Why don't you take the rest of the night off? Give yourself a well-deserved rest. I don't need a rest. Under request, detective. <laughs> I mean, it would have been a lot cooler if Economos came in and he was like, hey, and then he tossed me the chainsaw across the room. And I'm like, sell it, toss bro. And then I killed the gorilla. What are you talking about, man? <laughs> I had just said how much I wanted to kill someone with a chainsaw like 50 minutes earlier. Judge Judy. That's his name. Yeah, Judge William Judy. It's a Swiss surname. Whatever. He's fair. We can trust him. So you said. He's got that Gary Busey going on when he talks. He kind of like... Yeah. Hey, sweetie. Hey, Uncle Good Will. God. We need a search warrant. You ever heard of a guy named Peacemaker? Hey, that's cool. He's got pissed though because his face is in the outfit. <laughs> <laughs> this you and your brother? Yeah. Here we go. Oh my god. Oh my god! <laughs> what the fuck, man? That's rude. Oh, what's rude is you give me a feces drink? I'm quoting here. Just because you're handsome. <laughs> yeah. Even though you're a piece of shit murderer. <laughs> yeah, man, I, I... Shit. I... just left this helmet there. She's gonna find out. The x-ray helmet. Activate X-ray vision. Yo, Mr. Mern, this is crazy. You gotta check this. That was our reaction. Now we're going to talk about it. In the credits, guys, let us know. I see D. Bradley Baker there, who's a prominent voice actor, but I'm familiar with him because of Star Wars. And he's play, he plays Eagly, but what about Eagly? Does. You know, they, they I can guess just... he's entertaining eagle noises. Okay, yeah. I guess, but it just sounds like an eagle to me. I don't know. I've never heard an eagle. You're right, so I'm. That's why I, it's might be easy to fool me, <laughs> but you know. But okay, that's cool. I got some notes, but what do you think about the episode? I thought it was good. Yeah. Very good. I like how Economos had his moment. 
Me too. Chainsaw and uh, that all is going down with their team, but obviously it's falling apart. It's rotting from within. Yeah. So they had the moment, and they yeah, hardcore smile felt hard won. Yeah. And they had a lot of team building experiences, but then Leota is dropping that fucking diary in Peacemaker's place. And yeah. Shit like that because of Amanda Waller. Wants yeah. to do it. I guess we don't really know why she's doing it or what's in the diary. Yeah. But because it's associated with Waller, it doesn't look good. Yeah, and so, the fact that, like, it's, you know, she's doing it in a shady way. It's She's willing to do something and that and she doesn't know the consequence of how it might affect him. Yeah. yeah I thought it was really good. It didn't have, like, the emotional punch of, of the last episode, but not every episode should because it wouldn't be as meaningful. But, uh... Well, at the yeah. ending with Leota being attacked by Mern... Yeah. Even though I don't think it's going to end with him turning her no. or killing her. I think he's going to explain. He's probably more of a sympathetic character. Yeah. So. Yeah, I, it looks like he. I mean, what? I mean, we discuss the possibilities that maybe the butterflies are strategically taking out the the ones that they could afford to lose. But we also talked about maybe it's a civil war, or maybe he is just on the outs and he wants to kill them. I don't know. You know. Yeah, maybe he's. Yeah. Yeah. Like the fucking. The little, the Ultram. Yeah, yeah. I can't remember what that little, I, they might just still be called the Ultram. Yeah. And then there's the Krang. Yeah. Because the Krang become the hive mind and the Ultram are kind of the mm-hmm. individualists. The, yeah. The free, the free little group amongst those people. Yeah. <laughs> that breed of brain squishy things. Ugh. And, um, but he might be kind of like them. But I don't know because Judo Master is saying they're not what you think they are either. Yeah. I mean... So, back, rewinding a little bit back what you said about, you know, if it, if her smile feeling earned, I completely agree because uh, one thing that you probably notice I talk about a lot is like taking a character that we don't like or is terrible and making him interesting or just taking like a group of people. Economists, I, I really did not like him and I didn't care for the group as much. I like Leota, kind of. And, you know, Hardcore's hot, but I didn't really like him as a group too much. And now the show... And then I disliked him even more as time went on. And now they, they maybe like the group. And I like them together. And the moments feel earned. And that's, to me, like that is always a really cool thing when the story does that. Yeah. yeah. The butterfly food, uh, we, we, we thought it looked like honey. But it's something unearthly. Yeah. Fargo's on tonight. Fargo's on tonight. Oh. <laughs> Fargo's on tonight. So he likes Fargo. Yeah. Yeah, you have a great love for Fargo. I do. Yeah. And I, it's gotten a ton of awards. So I, I heard it's really good. Uh, it's something that I would like to do sometime on this channel. But, uh, and I haven't even seen the original movie either, but a character... Well, that, the way I feel about the series is that they elevate, yeah. you know, the original one. And the original is a Coen Brothers classic. Yeah. And it does have some good moments, but to me, it's one of their drier films. Yeah, it's also like their first one, too, so... No, it's not their first one. Oh. But it's definitely one of their drier films. Yeah. And they, uh, out of this, the series... It makes it a little more livelier, yeah. I guess yeah. there's a lot of dry moments, but they're done in such a way that sells it well, makes it more comedic. Yeah, you well, you told me season two has Jeffrey Donovan, who I love because of Burn Notice. So what what is Deep State? Maybe I need a. This isn't the idea. Deep of... State is the I, I. It's probably very in depth and um, detailed answer, but my the basic cons, like the simple way of putting it is there is a. Maybe not the, the quote unquote core of the government. Yeah. But there are parts or maybe people within yeah. levels of the government that are able to influence the rest of the government to kind of operate. Okay. In so their, it's in, like, in is the, it in the favor theory? of their designs? So the, the kind of like that theory of that being that way, or in some cases, well, that's like the reality the, of it. Well, it, the, the conspiracy theory of a deep state. Can yeah, just get carried away. Okay, and it can be like, well, this is happening because this is happening. We're all this lizards, so they're lizards these, at the top. These cops, they, these these local sheriffs, they're on the payroll. They're cops, man. They they're just fucking guys that work, and they just got a badge. And the... it's cool to see the continuity with the characters. Like they don't even have to be an important character, but just the neighbor being there, and he's in the in the opening. It's just kind of cool. Yeah, you know I mean, mm-hmm. um, it's very. I guess it's not a broad cast. No, but it's, like they. I don't know. It, I'm I, I'm feeling this this affection for all these characters now, just because the show's so good. You know, Eat peace, motherfuckers. That was a great moment. Yeah. That was awesome. Uh, we talked about the gorilla in like episode, like two episodes ago, being on TV, 
he did come back, mm-hmm. and the butterflies can be in multiple things. And a grill is a pretty badass thing to put a butterfly in. Yes, it is. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, Augie Smith was his name. August Smith. Yes. Yeah. Kind of a cool name. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Augie. Yeah. It reminds me of people that I went to school with who had a last name that began in such a fashion. Yeah. They call him Augie, but... Yeah. Yeah, just the 11th Street kids, the fact that Harcourt, like, and I'm hitting it again, like, I just love that... I just love it, you know, and I feel... You would, yeah. the, third, the fucking Third Street shit. Well, the, the, well, I do, you're right, but the idea of just of coming together, just having, like, a club, you know, and taking the picture... Oh, yeah, it's a gangster mentality. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> uh, all right, uh, I don't, those are just my notes. I, I, I really like this one. It didn't have that big emotional punch, but it was funny, and it kept the story going, and... And every time this episode happens, there's like, there's no, it doesn't go back, rest on its laurels and go back to... Uh, what do you think going to happen with uh, the detective investigating oh. Peacemaker and like going to her uncle? Yeah, you're right. Um, that did happen and it, it didn't show what happened. Oh, she went to get a, a, like uh, a warrant. search warrant yeah. at Peacemaker's place. And she's going to find the diary. No, yeah, you're right. I don't know, but was that supposed to be good or bad? You know, is it going to be good or bad for Chris? I don't know because they're supposed to say in a search warrant specifically what yeah. they're looking for and all that yeah. shit, so they can't just like I would. Yeah. Like, I don't know if you're going to go through and read through his book. Yeah. And get, for, to take all that information unless he just takes it home. Well, it did remind me of uh, just a lot of things, but just the season twenty-two, episode one, featuring Jeffrey Donovan, who we love, Law and Order. Uh, it has a similar theme. So she knows that August is a piece of shit, but he's innocent. Yeah. So he's a piece of shit. He's done a lot of things that maybe we can't prove, but we know he did. But he's innocent right here. I um, also said in this episode that he was the head of the Aryan nation. Yeah. So, so he's not like just some white supremacist guy that everyone loves. He's a fan. He's a superhero. Yeah. It's because he's in charge of the fucking Aryan nation, too. Yeah. So, so uh, this- he did say, I love your noodles. <laughs> it yeah. was kind of funny. The rice based. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't know what's going to happen to her. That's, that's a good question. Because, like, I do like that she's a good cop. And, like, you know, like, I do enjoy that storyline a little bit. But I just wasn't huge on him being in prison. And I don't know. I don't know why. I don't have a good reason. Listen, keep having moments where Peacemaker keeps going to his house while he's cooking dinner awkwardly, silently. Maybe... I'm affectionate for those moments. Maybe that's well, we already had that it's coloring me biased. Yeah, uh, I guess it's just like because the economist fucked that up. I thought it was stupid, and it's creating conflict for a character that I love. You know. Well, it's making you interested. It is. So it's their plan is working. <laughs> it's like I hate Joffrey, but I kept watching because I was waiting for that moment. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't get anything else. You got anything else? It was. I didn't take any notes. Yeah, it was. It was just really good. So I can't wait to the next one. Thank you for tuning in. You specifically. You. And if you don't want to be thanked for it, and maybe you are affronted yeah. by the gesture, don't come back. We <laughs> won't know. So, uh, be or if you like it, Instagram, Twitter, like, subscribe, comment down below. Yeah. There's something about an algorithm in there. I don't know. Yeah. I don't want to know. And adios.